that being said, um, I do believe we have Zane going up against Sinji. Yeah, and Zane versus Sinji, Pac-Man versus Duck Hunt. Once again, as you mentioned earlier, Dara, um, we have the Zony boys coming out today uh, in this top eight. All of our uh, really incredible players that we have in New York City, um, especially our Zoner players here, coming out in spades and doing incredibly well in this top eight. Um, and Zane is no slouch, certainly a player that is maybe most improved since quarantine, uh, has gone from is usually a, uh, a gatekeep type player to one who is now consistently top aiding these tournaments. You know, they've gone from like one of the hidden bosses to like, hey, this is one of the bosses that you yeah. have to be constantly looking out for. Zane has been consistently getting top threes at Aeons, been almost making Ooh. those breakthroughs to top oh eights at Xenos. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Schmicks? Uh, so yeah, looking for drag down up air, uh, Drag down up air up smash, something I have never seen before, and that is one of the things that certainly helps Zane out in New York City. Who knows this matchup? Who knows Duck Hut? Who knows who this looks, matchup? Who looks at Duck Hut and like sees like Clay Pigeon and Gun and Can out there simultaneously? Oh my god, that was so good. Oh my. That was uh, so good. I love the idea of Kim Sinji. They had a good idea in following Zane's trajectory, um, but we were just a little bit off on the spacing. Maybe they didn't want to fully commit to it. Zane has to be so careful navigating through the minefield right now. Uh, Oh my, my god. god, so Apple bounced off Gunman, yep. remained active, and hit Zane's double jump. Insane. The interactions yeah. in this matchup are going to be co uh, comical, to say the least. It was Sinji's, and I gotta say, Sinji's Galaxian conversions are just as solid as always. Able to get 41% from the center <laughs> stage. Zane looking for that up oh. but that can. Not gonna be able to take it quite yet. Sinji DI'd right to the corner. And we are getting uh, dangerously near to the percent that Duck Hunt grabs. We'll start killing around the 200% mark. Um, and that is, you know, I know that, that Zane will, will probably hate me for saying this, but Duck Hunt is a character that I think many people do consider as difficult to get a stock off with. And we've seen that several times today in yeah. the winner's bracket in this top eight. Um, it, it's more so like Duck Hunt is generally going to be taking the stocks a little bit higher yeah. uh, than you normally would be used to. So while Duck Hunt does have really good low and mid percent damage output, um, to actually be able to find those kill confirms. Um, it's a little bit difficult, but look at that amazing conversion from Zane. Yeah, and, and so far we've seen those conversions. Uh, we saw with the just barely missed uh, drag down up air conversion and that conversion that we just saw right there. Zane is certainly a master with this character at getting those conversions out. Item conversions uh, ask similar to Pac-Man in, in, in how creative you can be with this character. Really entertained by the fact that the can hit behind the fire hydrant. Ooh, and Sinji just gonna get a really, really strong balance to up smash. Yeah, that'll just take about anybody's stock. Ooh, yeah. F smash, excuse me. Yeah, a, a similar threat level to Diddy Banana mm -hmm. in the shield is Pac-Man with that bell. Um, yep. Instantly getting those stocks around 70, 80, 90% uh, with a really quick out of shield option. A scary situation for Duck Hunt that doesn't have a whole lot of buttons that are uh, super wow. duper safe on block. I really like the way that Sinji is using Galaxian to give themselves like a little bit of coverage against Zane. Um, it's doing a really good job of invalidating uh, Clay Pigeon and a lot of the ranges that Zane wants to be using them. Down they're going to be sending Zane off stage even oh, further. Oh, the cherry's so good. That yeah. forced Zane into a situation where they had to recover yeah. at such an angle that they only had really one option. Sinji puts himself in that situation, back airs out, yeah. and does an excellent job um, taking that game number two. The, the cherry was gorgeous. Wow, that was just the last foot as well. Yeah, no, but once you like Duck Hunt in this position, uh, there, there isn't a whole lot that you can do because Zane, you can't even recover low anymore. Yeah. You don't You don't even, like like this distance to be able to go here and recover low, you'll be down so low that Sinji could like easily try to go for another two frame in this mm. position. So for me, all that he needed to do was just track Zane. Zane yeah. could not air dodge here either, so normally, uh, Duck Hunt has maybe like one of the uh, uh. Duck Hunt has maybe one of the best uh, like directional air dodges in when you consider um, when you consider like how good the magnet hands are for Duck Hunt. And oh. we're seeing a character oh. switch. This is a throwback uh, to Smash Four Zane Smash Four Main Bayonetta. And oh. I think what's interesting here we have to keep in mind obviously the patch that just released yesterday. Uh, the biggest buff that Bayonetta received was which time yeah. on items. Which time on projectiles, projectiles, baby. So you got to make sure that you're careful about it in the mid-range. Also, considering the fact that Hydrant has a constantly active hitbox, for anybody that doesn't know that, you can go ahead, yes. you can put your shield up to Hydrant, and you'll see that it's interacting with it because reasons. Yeah. Uh, is it possible for Bayonetta to run I up in which time Bayonetta Hydrant? I believe Bayonetta is the one counter that it does not work on, if I remember correctly. I believe uh, that's, how, that's how it interacted in Smash 4. 
Um, I frankly have not seen that interaction in a very long time, so I am not positive if it still functions the same way in this yeah. game. Uzade right now just looking for a way to mix up the landing, but you saw that really good patience from Sinji under who said like, hey, you're pressing a lot of specials, you're putting yourself in a lot of special landing lag. All I need to do is wait out all of your side Bs and up Bs and catch that landing. Ooh. Nice. That's going to be another back air. Nice conversion by uh, Zane. And, and the thing is, similarly to what we were seeing in the last game, Bayonet is a character that, while can kill very early at times, similarly can kill uh, incredibly late if not finding that correct yeah. opening. Yeah, but right now, Bayonetta just has, like, so much more stuff to her disposal. She has, like, fairly one into jab, uh, which can, like, kill mm -hmm. uh, at, like, 100, 10, 120 now. She's definitely got a little bit more stuff to play around with. So Zane is probably looking for that with the way that they're jumping in, mm -hmm. looking to get that fairly one, fairly two. Um, really good recovery mix right now. Sinji saying so patient, just holding Apple. But that is not going to take the stock quite yet. Zane hanging on by a thread. And that DI was truly excellent by Zane, but another mix-up. I loved calling out the jump, did Sinji there, throws that apple down, covers a huge amount of space, mm -hmm. uh, especially uh, vertically, and Sinji's going to be able to take that stock. And now, Sinji with Glaxian in hand, waits oh, that for way. that, that which time, and it was uh, really an excellent situation. Could have maybe gotten more of that conversion, but still worked out excellently for Sinji. 28% yeah, is 28, but if it's Galaxian in hand and you're waiting for something, like we all have seen Sinji like, yeah. just deal unspeakable amounts of percent uh, from that kind of a position. Zane looking for that up till presumably to try to find a back hit out of it. But right now, just like not finding any of those really big hits, gonna, oh, but Sinji's SDI was so solid. Yeah, and Sinji, all the well aware, after all those specials that Zane threw out, gonna be in a lot of lag, even though uh, the, the shield was down air. Uh, S smash still a true punish. Sinji's just waiting. Yeah, and really, Sinji does not have to worry about uh, the approach at all here. Um, it's been incredibly difficult for Zane to get in, and even when Zane has gotten in, Sinji frankly hasn't taken a whole lot of damage nor been at threat. Yep. A lot of the Bayonetta combos, just Sinji has been able to get out of them relatively quickly. Zane has not been able to find a lot of good starters to them either. Um, Sinji just like minimizing a lot of the damage that he's taking. Such good understanding of what Zane was looking for. They're fishing a little bit too much with Baku. Zane just needs a way to be able to take the stock. And, and I want to point out there, Sinji is doing an excellent job of keeping himself in crouch when ledge trapping. And that is so good, particularly against Bayonetta, especially when you have a crouch walk. <laughs> Um, you can keep yourself out of range of side B from ledge and kind of walk around in micro space around things. Yeah. And we've seen him use the crouch so frequently here and it's been working out so well for him so far. Who is going to be able to take this from here? No, Sinji still ends up falling deeper and deeper off stage, That's but F to go, F to go, yeah, should be able to do it. I really like that you pointed that out. Um, a really common option from Bayonetta, especially off ledge, ABK from ledge, yeah. classic, so synonymous with Bayonetta. If you're crouch walking, you still have access to all of your grounded options without having to lock yourself in shield. Mm -hmm. So it, it is characters that like Pac-Man, like Wario, that have these really nice crouch walks that kind of can do a lot against Bayonetta uh, when she does do the ABK from ledge. And Sinji has implemented that so well, whether that just be resetting to neutral or whether that just be throwing out fruit to pressure or waiting for a grab or dashing back and down smashing. He's done an excellent job so far at that. This, this, is this spacing and use of Cherry is so solid. Also able and, and just ready to be able to react to and punish goal. Sinji's ledge trapping here is just... I mean, pretty textbook. What else do you yeah. do here? It really, uh, and it maybe is showing the, the little bit of, not necessarily inexperience, but lack of in practice uh, that this Bayonetta is uh, for Zane. Uh, we've seen a lot of Bayonetta from Zane in the past. Just maybe, yeah, maybe just like not as of late. Yeah. Uh, but I have not seen Zane play like too much Bayonetta recently. Yeah. Cherry at ledge has been so uh. useful for Sinji actually falling out of the connector hit for the up smash. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think this is... Um, in the mind of Zane, over. Um, yeah. Um, well, not giving up, but... Oh, that yep. was so good! Untackable. <laughs> and that's untackable. Yeah. That was incredible coverage by Sinji. Uh, Zane definitely uh. a little bit deflated. That Sinji certainly one of the players that... Look at that thing! Once it's you are down, definitely a deflating player to play against. As soon as you lose that first stock to Sinji, you are forced to play at his pace. You can't do much about it. I mean, I mean, I mean. Look at this. Yeah. It's a slow-moving projectile. It'll it'll catch neutral get up probably as well if, if Zane was able to snap onto the ledge on time. But it's just there. Yeah. It's like it's like everything Rob Jago wants to be. You know. And and, and I've highlight. I want to highlight just before that as well. Uh, Zane or rather, Sinji was also. 
covering a early recovery from Zayn with the first throw of it, and th there was a recatch here as well. Yeah. So with the recatch, threw it up, covered a late recovery as well. So Shinji yeah. had a whole lot of options yeah. covered there. Yeah, Shinji recognized like, hey, you know what? I don't want this projectile to disappear while Zayn is still stalling and trying to figure out how they get back onto the stage. So I was able to get that recatch and was able to refresh that projectile. So Shinji's, Shinji's agile leading there is just so good. That, that projectile is menacing. Um, don't get hit. Don't 